today we're doing a little podcast mini vlog kind of thing and this is our little baby Ava she is nine months old <coughs> yeah <laughs> you want we to talk to it? Yeah. Oh, say hello. Hi. Hi. How about you? Hi. <laughs> so I think uh, a lot of parents can relate on a lot of things and can't relate because like everyone's journey is different. And we wanted to share our perspective of being parents and what we expected and what not while being parents for the first time. The this little gem over there <laughs> so i think what we would first start with like what we expected and what not at all at pregnancy in my perspective i would say i did not expect such a change in my head like it was a complete light switch in like first trimester at like second month i guess it probably was the biggest switch for me not like all the symptoms and stuff but like brain thing yeah and for me it doesn't really change until you can see the belly so it's around maybe seven to eight months yeah like around being pregnant mm -hmm. like until then you just uh purchasing stuff preparing for everything reading getting more information about uh how it's like how's the life being dead and uh until then you don't really like see any differences in your life like we didn't really purchase much stuff until the second trimester i think i don't know it just didn't feel that much real maybe because i didn't have much of the pregnancy symptoms so like i didn't have extreme nausea or anything i was i would say i went through first trimester very easy compared to like what other women actually go through it doesn't feel real at all even if when you have a baby you need like two, three months adapt. to adapt that it's that it's yours for the rest of your life. That you're gonna have to grow a human, an actual human being. It's um, it's something you have to deal in your head, not only for like a man, but I think for a woman too. I remember when Ava was just born, I was like, dude, that's that's my child. I'm gonna have to raise her. I'm gonna have to show a good example as a woman to her because she's a girl, you know? It's a lot to process and it was not easy, I would say. For me, it was uh, quite something to, you know, adapt in my head. She wants to say things too, so yeah. that's She's good. She's the future star, that's for sure. She's not introvert. No, no, no. She's the most <laughs> extroverted girl ever. Yeah, like not not looking like parents at all and that's person like spectrum you know <laughs> yeah she likes camera she likes people yes yeah. she likes to communicate you tell the stories tell it. Oh. <laughs> so pregnancy was I, as I said, like it's it was pretty easy for me. I don't know how it was for you the whole like time. For me, it was, I don't know. I started like that nesting process at like last months when I, like I couldn't like I could barely walk, kind of, you know. <laughs> at that moment, I, it was it was feeling quite real. But at first, it was just like, oh, it's fun. I have belly. I feel you know this and that. Like there's. I things think... going on in, in, in the belly that was weird by the way the first actual kicks like not the ones on like second trimester where it's like bubbles and stuff in, in the belly but more like the kicks the actual foot kicks when you can actually visually see on the belly um, <laughs> those are like whoa you know, you know for me I think uh, the first time it like it became real when I start uh, when I saw the the picture of like ultrasound right? yeah ultrasound pictures like ultrasound video that's what i saw the the, the little human in there actually yeah when, when yeah. it's kicking you know not like the little tiny one yeah but like the like the mini, human. mini mini human the inside human, yeah. then you start realizing it's coming and yeah. the first kicks oh it's been a while it's like at six months Seven months? Like the very first bubbles that I felt, it was at 18, 20 weeks. 
for you it was early, but for early, me it but took yeah, for like you that, it was like uh, at uh, six, six, seven months. Yeah, yeah. it takes a while. So yeah. for that, it's a very boring journey. <laughs> yeah, it, you have to wait like nine months. I bet every man experienced it different, like from their perspective. I would say because you know things you see on social media, every single videos they're like, oh my god, there's like this and that. They're very emotional you know like yeah. like they show emotions a lot like they're like so not saturated. everyone it's, yeah it's, not it's, everyone it's so are like that you know the actual reality i would say it was it's different kind of you you don't i don't know jump like a bunny around <laughs> yeah, especially <laughs> you know? in our country yeah our country is our not mentality like, it's we're different. not like very emotional people yeah we're so more like subtle. we're gonna post uh I think the full pregnancy video with like parent reactions, uh, how we told everyone that we are pregnant and so on. Right before birth, I had to go to the hospital for like two weeks because it was super, because it was super hot at that month, the last month. And I had to just get some checks constantly if everything's okay, because I was swollen the whole body and I could just waddle around you know with my belly I gained a lot though because my placenta was also like in the front so my belly was bigger than other women's would have when the placenta is behind somewhere no oh, yeah the belly was huge it was like you having double double yeah like twins you know a lot of people used to say like are you sure you're having only one child there <laughs> yeah because the belly was huge yeah so, so that's that's also quite different too. And for a man to see that belly. Oh yeah, how you like feel seeing your woman being with the balloon on, your, on a... your body? <laughs> it's for weird. me. It's natural. I don't know. It didn't. It wasn't like oh my god, what is this? It was natural. I was very confident with my body though. That was the for the long I know, period of that time. That belly for me it was scary. Like some men loves it. But yeah, some men actually, like, I don't know. For me, it, it looked kind of freaky. I mean, I loved it, but at the same time, it was, like, kind of freaky, you know? Because the skin, everything was so stretched. It's... Yeah, it's like like a balloon, you yeah. know? It's like it's a balloon. It's not really the romantic thing to see. It's like, hmm. Yeah, and I think that some men would say differently because I yes. heard other, you know, stories when they... I touched the belly, I rubbed the belly, but it wasn't at that level that I was like non-stop touching it. Yeah. It's, it's not... Maybe because it's first pregnancy, so you didn't expect yes. much. Like maybe in a second, it would be a little bit different for both of us because it's a second child, you know what to expect and how it looks like and everything. For the first, to see my body so much... Yeah, the belly is massive, change. the belly button is exploded as well yeah, like it's out inside it's, out you know like just, out <laughs> like the stretch marks everything it, it looks weird yeah so then when we go to some birth experience i don't know if we should keep the details for another video because like it's yeah. a whole video We're about it a full video like yeah like how everything video. went and and what to expect and what we saw and what we didn't yeah and the entire pregnant pregnancy like That's true the reality. <laughs> so I think it's a wrap for our first one. Yeah, I think for our introduction, we have to go home, I guess. And feed this little monster. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Probably hungry. That would be it. But I think it was a good start. Like yeah. just introduction with like pregnancy. It's really fun to remember things. Whoa. I think we're gonna release uh, another video soon, in like a couple days. Okay, see ya! <laughs>